Hi everybody, thanks so much for joining me. My name's Claire. Um, the video I'm about to show you um, started out, the painting started out as a Dutch pour. Um, it went terribly wrong. Um, one of the paints wasn't the right consistency. So um, as I put it on my drying rack and as it started started drying, um, it, it, just, it just changed and I didn't like it. So you're going to see the process um, of that behind that piece. But then you're also going to see now what I did to save it. Um, I decided to do some swipes and I think in my opinion, I, I managed to save it, thank goodness. So um, I'm gonna show you the whole process um, and then the end result. So here are the colors I'm going to use. There's quite a selection of brands here, um, which is always good to try and produce lots of cells. So I, I'm hopeful that I'm gonna get some cells here. So I've got Montmartre Gold, I've got Royal and Langnickel Thalo Cyanine Blue, Pebio Studio Acrylics Payne's Grey, De La Rowney Pearl White, and then three Amsterdam paints. So the, the base paint is going to be white, and then I've got bronze and greyish blue. Um, so I've mixed them all up ready. I've mixed all my paints with this, so which is Flood Floatrol, the American Floatrol, um, and I'm going to put the recipe in the description of this video. My canvas here is quite a small rectangular canvas. It's um, 30 centimetres by 42 centimetres. So I'm first of all just going to cover the base in the white. So I'm just going to pour some of the white in the centre. In fact, I think I'm pouring all of it on. <laughs> I hope I've got enough. And then I'm going to blow that out with the hairdryer just to get a nice even coat of paint. So I've just dabbed all the edges just to make sure there's paint covering and then I'm just going to use a blowtorch, where is my blowtorch, just to burst all the air bubbles. So what's going to be different about this Dutch pour is the way I'm going to put the colour, the design colours, onto the canvas. So the, the piece that I did recently, I did a line across the centre and then I did two extra lines of paint there and two extra lines here. So what I'd like to do is exactly the same but adding more lines. So I'm actually gonna be putting a lot of paint on this canvas. So um, what I'm hoping is that there will be little streaks of white in between but other than that, the entire canvas will be covered in the in the design, the blowout um, the design. Um, so I've got my order for the colours here. So there's three blues and then there's three iridescent colours. So I'm alternating the blues and alternating the iridescent colours. So I'm just going to start with my Payne's Grey. And I'm just going to put a line of this just across maybe at a slight curve, yeah, there we go, across the centre. So that's gonna be the main line. And then I'm just going to add just a few more lines. So this is how I started out doing the other one with little curved lines like this. But I'm now gonna add some extra here. So. I think if I do one in the centre, like that, and then maybe another one there in the middle of each, in the middle of those gaps. Yeah, good, happy with that. So that was the Payne's Grey. Now I've got the bronze. 
So what I will start doing now is just slightly wiggly lines over all those Payne's Grey lines. So I'm going to end up with a lot of paint on this canvas, but that's exactly what I want because when I blow this out, I would just want the whole canvas to be covered in the design, in the colours. I've done quite a few Dutch pours recently and I've had lots of negative space. And I've loved them, but this is the opposite and it's taken it to the extreme. There will be no negative space. Right, that is so much paint. So let's just give this another torch. So I think the best way to blow this out with a hairdryer is to start in the center and blow the main line out first and then the sides and then come in the other way. I think I'm going to just, yeah, I'm gonna just change the angle. Make sure you can see all of that. Um, because I'm gonna blow in this direction first up here, I think. Now I'm actually really nervous, I've not done this before and this could go terribly wrong, but let's try. Wow, the colours are gorgeous, there's some cells instantly. There's a bit too much white there, but I'll deal with that in a minute. So I'll just turn this round and do the same the other way. I actually really, really like it. It's very dramatic, very, very dramatic. Um, I'm not happy with this white section, so I might even add some more colour there. And I'm not so happy with having, still having that really bright white blue line in the middle. So I think I'm just going to do a little bit of mouth blowing now, just to just to um, sort a few bits out. But wow, it's so dramatic. I really like it. I think I'm going to add some more colour here because I like all the effects and all the cells. So I don't really want to disturb that. I think I'm going to add just a little bit more. Right happy with that so that balances now so I'm just going to do a little bit of extra blowing where I haven't quite caught the paint with the hairdryer
Right, I think I've finished blowing around, although actually I might just do one more here. What I'm finding, because it, it's lovely, because I've got a lot of paint on here, so when I'm blowing these sections, the white comes through, which is the base, but then there's so much paint, it kind of closes up, and then actually just new cells are instantly forming. So I'm loving having this little bit of white sort of peeking through everywhere. Let's give it a torch. The colours have blended beautifully. The um, phthalo cyanine blue has definitely taken over. So what's quite interesting there is where I've got this really dark um, blue band in the centre, by torching it, I'm actually dispersing it a little bit and actually bringing up some of the other colours underneath, which I like. So it's not just such an obvious blue band there. It just breaks it up a little bit. This is just so different for a Dutch pour. I have never done such um, an intense looking Dutch pour as this. Um, I think because it's a reasonably small camera, I think it could really work on a, a white background, on a white wall. Um, let me take you in and show you all the amazing little details. Um, because I've added all the metallics, there is so much to look at. There are so many cells so, and there's some lacing. There's just, there seems to be just pattern and detail everywhere. And of course, the whole thing is really sparkly. Can you see the, hopefully you can see the sparkle there. So the gold, the bronze, the pearl, there's some pearl white there that's showing. It's so sparkly. The colours are just gorgeous together. Um, I'm, I was very, very tempted to end up adding a turquoise or something else, um, but I'm really glad I've just kept it to the blue, uh, the blues, the bronze and the gold. And you can see there the bronze and the gold next to each other. I think they work really well together. They're very similar, but and there just slightly different tones, different shades. Just the, the lacing, the cells, it's just a very, very busy, very, very detailed painting. Um, so we'll see how it how it dries. Um, it will darken as it dries, but and I think that will actually um, look, help it look, look better. Um, yeah, so I'll be back when it's dry. So it's about half an hour later. I've just gone back to have a look at this painting on my drying rack and I'm not at all happy. The All the, cell, the beautiful cells I have have just seemed to disappear and broken up. What I think has happened is this blue, this phthalo signing blue, I think is just too thin and it just seems to have expanded and just become a bit of a a bit swampy really. It just, I, I've lost all the definition. The cells have just, it's just, it sort of expanded and just ruined it. Not happy at all. So I thought, well, actually, I might scrape this. What I'm going to try to try and salvage this painting is I'm now going to try and swipe over the top just to see if I can, um, just to see what happens. Just to see if I can get some some beautiful lacing. So I'm going to swipe with Australian Floatrol, um, mixed with Amsterdam white paint, um, and I think because I've got that obvious line through the middle, I'm going to do my swipes. In, in this this sort of direction. I might start some of them in the center, but I might I'm, I think I'm gonna stagger it so it's gonna be all a little bit offset. So I've just cut some um, kitchen roll pieces. So I'm just gonna dip the end of the kitchen roll into the um, Australian flower troll, and then just gonna place it onto the, to the paint, onto the canvas and swipe and pull see what happens
So this has totally, totally changed this painting, transformed the painting. I think for the better. I'm definitely happier with it. Um, it's it's again, it's it's a real sort of intense painting, colour everywhere, design everywhere, so much detail. But if you look close up, you'll see you'll see some of the detail. So the Australian flower troll just creates this absolutely amazing lacing. So there is so much detail. It is so, so pretty when you look really close up. Um, I ended up doing, um, as you saw, a lot of swipes. Um, so swipes over swipes, overlapping, just lots of extra bits. Um, any bit that I wasn't quite happy with, I just kept swiping. Um, and I quite like that really staggered effect. So there is now no longer um, a really straight line through the center you can definitely still see a line um but it's it's not as defined um and what i enjoyed doing was lots of swipes at just different positions di at different distances um from that that central band um and i think i think that works really well so i'm hoping now to leave this alone and not do anything else not reinvent it in any way um or let it dry and see see what it's like Thank goodness I swiped it. Thank goodness I didn't leave it because I know I wouldn't have been happy. I wouldn't have um, um, uploaded this video. I would have painted over the top as it as it was. Uh, so thank goodness I swiped it because I've actually created a painting I'm really quite happy with. Um, it to me, I, I've done one of these before, and to me it very much looks like um, a pane of glass and rain or you know that that sort of drizzle that you get on on the window it just looks a bit like that um, I've added just a couple of embellishments just a little tiny bit of the extra bronze only very very few though just to add just a little bit more um, distinction between the different the different bands um, the lacing is gorgeous the cells it, it's just so so pretty um, and I'm really happy with these colours. Um, very interestingly, I'm preferring the bronze with it uh, rather than the gold. So look, there's a little section of gold just there, whereas that's the bronze there. And I actually really like the bronze with it more than the gold. Um, just look at the details. So, so pretty. Um, the blue was definitely, definitely the problem in this piece. I think it was just too runny. Um, I didn't do a drip test, so maybe I should have done to check the consistency of them all. Um, I think I might have had this problem before with that blue as well, so I need to learn. So, a bit of a disaster, but I I think I have saved it. Well, I'm much happier with this. Let me know what you think. Did I do the right thing in swiping it? Do you think I've... Yeah, have I saved it? Um, I'm certainly not going to paint over this one. This one will... I will... This is one to keep now. Um... So, yeah, let me know what you think. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please do leave me comments. Great. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.